another demonstration <laughs> of Nate's shower. We'll start with shampoo, use biodegradable one because we always are showering outside. First we have a shower head here and the water tank is connected to our main water tank which is 70 liters so it's enough for at least six showers. There's the heater, it runs on the gas which we also use for the kitchen. Click the heater on. Uh, then choose how much heat do you want, how much water flow do you want and press this button down like that. <laughs> pick, 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 push. The fire is on and it instantly hits the water. You can have a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and the invention that Nate made is the PVC backed uh, shower screen canvas. So it has waterproof uh, inside and just like uh, fabric outside. So you just put the hooks in the places. And then even if you have a really strong wind, it does not affect your shower. It's almost a proper shower. All right, first thing you see when you walk in the door is our beautiful blue tiled shower. We have a teak mat at the bottom and a Dometic cassette toilet. These are rigged, this is for power and ventilation for a nature's head composting toilet, which we will eventually get. We have our faucet here, so we have on-demand hot water and light switches outside. And we also have a skylight in here. So you can shower under the stars or under the sun, a little ventilation as well. And for some privacy, we have installed this Nautilus sliding door. Down here, this is the shower pan. So this is a wet area. It can be wet without any issue. On every four corners of the shower pan, we do have an exit to outside. So water can exit in whatever position you are without somewhere collecting. This one, you can pull up here. And here you can have your shower. This side is the wet side, so it can get wet, no problem. This one should be dry, this is the kitchen side. So whenever we want to have a shower, we just start the hot water here, wait for like 20 minutes, and the 15 liter tank will be all hot, so we can take both a shower from that. You just put this up here, take your curtain, and go all around with it. As you can see now, also in the back, everything on this side is protected. This side can get wet, so no issue there. You just close up, have your shower here, and everything is nice, right? Every, I think everybody that has ever lived in a van for more than two days um, has at least seen these thingies, and they are great. It's like. 30 bucks at Decathlon um, and it's the best thing ever because you, it's so multiple to use. It is actually a shower uh, but you could also use it to wash your dishes. It just works in a very simple way. You, you just uh, put put in some like you just put in water here um, and put it in the sun for like two or three hours and it gets really 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 warm. Uh, then you just close it, pump it to pressurize it, and close it properly. So you just pump it, connect like this hose, and and show. <laughs> You've actually got the shower and loo. That was all part of my uh, being completely self-sufficient. I wanted to be able to have um, have the shower loo. So, um, in, in the sort of uh, shower wet room, I've got a skylight. You just uh, do this to actually open it up. And then it's even got a fan that you can either have air being pumped into it or the air being sucked out. So just depending on which way you pull the switch. Um, so again, really good for getting just a flow of air through the van itself. Under here, 
is the gas heater. I put in a Propex HS2000, which are pretty common um, for, well, boats and vans. The hot air comes either here with a little vent that you can have going either around, sort of convecting around or straight up into um, the main living area. But there's also a splitter here, which you can, um, goes into the shower room and you can shut off either one. So if you just want the air going into the shower, you can have, um, whether you're having a shower or using it as a drying room, you can just leave it going there and you can shut this off or vice versa. I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics and part lists, which will make your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in a van conversion. So that's for water systems, for your electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. And I really believe that anyone, regardless of their experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects to feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.